Mathematics, Revised K-12 Curriculum, Lesson Exemplar Based, Grade 4, Quarter 2, Week 2, Day 3. Now, our topic is dividing whole numbers, dividing 3-digit to 4-digit numbers by 1-digit number with regrouping. Our lesson objective is to divide 3 to 4-digit numbers by 1-digit number with regrouping. This is for day 3. Let's have a review. We have learned that there are many ways to solve for division. We can use pictorial representation or long division. For long division, we apply DMSB or divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Or dad, mom, sis, bro. To easily remember the process in division. Now let's divide using pictorial representation. Letter A, 235 divided by 5. Notice that we have two hundreds and three tens and five ones in 235. Now let's divide that into five. We have to group the disks under each place value by 5. Two hundreds are not enough to make a group of five. So we need to regroup. Now we transferred it to tens and we grouped it into five. So in two hundreds, there are 20 tens. And 20 tens, if we are going to regroup that into five, so there are four groups of five in 20 tens. And this three tens that are left since it cannot be grouped into five we have to regroup it again to ones so 30 tens is grouped into five so there are six groups of five for 30 ten and the original five ones is added so six plus one we have seven so four seven or 47 therefore 235 divided by 5 equals 47. Now let's use long division. Number 1, 234 divided by 5. Once again, let's remember DMSB, dead mom sees bro, or divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. This is a repeated process. Now, 234 our dividend is written inside the division house. Our divisor 5 is written outside the division house. Now, to divide, let's start with the highest place value. So, we have 1s, 10s, 100s. The number that has the highest place value is 2. 2 divided by 5 cannot be divided. So, it can't be we have to regroup and we use 23 instead 23 divided by 5 equals 4 now multiply 4 times 5 equals 20 23 minus 20 equals 3 now let's bring down 4 and then repeat the process, 34 divided by 5 equals 6, and 6 times 5 equals 30. 34 minus 30, we have a remainder 4. Our quotient is 46, remainder 4. Now for the second problem. 3,206 divided by 7. So, 3,206 is our dividend and the divisor is 7. Now, the highest place value is thousands. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and the number with the highest place value is 3. Now, let's divide 3 divided by 7. It can't be can't be divided 
So we have to regroup again. Let's use 32. Then 32 divided by 7. The answer is 4. Then multiply 4 times 7 equals 28. Subtract 32 minus 28 equals 4. Now bring down 0. We have 40 as our new number. 40 divided by 7 equals 5. 5 times 7 equals 35. Now subtract 40 minus 35 equals 5. Then we still have our remaining number 6. Bring down 6. Our new number is 56. Repeat the process. Divide 56 by 7. We'll have 8. Multiply 8 times 7, we have 56. Now subtract 56 minus 56 equals 0. So the quotient is 458. Now let's divide 3150 divided by 5. So, 3,150 is our dividend written inside the division house. Now, 3,150 is our dividend and it's written inside the division house. Our number 5 is our divisor written outside the division house. Do not forget, 3 divided by 5, it can't be. So, have to we have to regroup. 31 divided by 5. We'll have 6, and 6 times 5 equals 30. 31 minus 30 equals 1. Bring down 5. Now, our new number is 15. Then repeat the process, DMSB. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Multiply 3 times 5 equals 15. Subtract 15 minus 15 equals 0. But since you still have one more 0 left in the dividend, then we have to bring down this 0. 0 divided by 5 equals 0. 0 times 5 equals 0. And 0 minus 0 equals 0. As you can see, there are no numbers left. So our final answer or quotient is 630. Now let's try one more time. You can solve on your seats. 3906 divided by 6. So highest place value is 3. We have to start with 3. 3 divided by 6, it can't be divided. So, we'll have to regroup. Then we have 39 divided by 6 equals 6. Multiply 6 times 6 equals 36. Subtract 39 minus 36, we have 3. Bring down 0. 30 divided by 6 equals 5. 5 times 6 equals 30. Subtract 30 minus 30. We have 0. And we have one more number left. Bring down 6. Now 6 divided by 6 equals 1. And 1 times 6 equals 6. 6 minus 6 equals 0. One last number. Let's divide. 5,125 divided by 5. Now let's do it all together. The highest place value is number 5,000. Now 5 divided by 5, we have 1. Multiply. 1 times 5 equals 5. Subtract. 5 minus 5 equals 0. Bring down 1. Repeat, 1 divided by 5 equals 0. 
Now remember, 1 is lesser or it can't be divided by 5. But since you already have brought it down, so you have to divide 1 by 5. And your quotient should be 0. And then 0 multiplied by 5 equals 0. Then 1 minus 0 equals 1. Then that's the time we have to bring down 2. So we have a new number which is 12. Repeat the process. 12 divided by 5 equals 2. 2 times 5 equals 10. Subtract 12 minus 10. We have 2. And then bring down the last number which is 5. So you have 25 divided by 5 equals 5. Then multiply 5 times 5 equals 25. And subtract 25 minus 25 equals 0. So we don't have to bring down another number because there are no numbers left at the dividend. So our final answer or quotient is 1025. Therefore, 5,125 divided by 5 equals 1,025. Now, it's your turn to find the quotient of the following numbers using these adjusted methods. For number 1, you have to use pictorial representation. And for number 2 to 5, use long division. And for your assignment, Answer the following. Once again, thank you for listening and enjoy learning. Have a good day.